in the shop today and I'm running some parts on the uh, Precision Matthews. Uh, this is actually, I'm running the second setup on the Precision Matthews and the first setup on the X2, so I kind of got them going simultaneously. I've been running them for the last three days, uh, probably three to four hours a day. The Precision Matthews is working really well. Um, this second setup here only requ doesn't require any tool changes, so I'm running it on the Precision Matthews. And it's basically, I'm using the same setup. I tweaked the G-code just a little bit uh, to take advantage of uh, the power of the Precision Matthews and the feed and speeds. Uh, I'm still not doing any kind of adaptive clearing, so there's little chunks of metal by cutting with the bottom of the end mill I'm actually cutting it out I know that that's probably not preferred as far as tool life uh, I'm so used to running parts like that on the X2 because I couldn't take a full depth of cut with it and there's actually big chunks of metal so that's left over so I figure I'm not using the end mill to cut any of this by uh, cutting it the way I am cutting it uh, for now since I'm still kind of using the same setup I just went this route uh, later on I'm gonna I'll probably run uh, several of these parts at one time uh, I'm gonna have to build a jig and stuff uh, but I had to get some uh, produced because I was out and uh, so that's what I've been doing I've just been kind of running parts and uh, using the Precision Matthews instead of making parts for it and kind of working on it so just kind of give you an update of what's going on she's running good uh, I have the motor doesn't get hot the gearbox gets pretty hot uh, but again I'm running at about 3000 RPMs and the gearbox was really only made for 1700 so it's holding up pretty good. I ran it four hours straight yesterday and it got hot, but it seems to be fine. Um, the motor doesn't get too hot. It keeps cool because of the fan on it, so that's nice. Everything's draining real well. The coolant's working real good. Um, the coolant pump. It seems like every time I come out here to run the mill, i got to put about a half a gallon of coolant back in it. Uh, if I don't, then when the coolant comes out it gets a little cloudy because it's pulling from the you know it's the coolant's kind of low so I'm kind of rethinking the three gallon coolant tank I love the filter system in the tank but probably needs at least five gallons because there's probably a half a gallon left in the machine as it's running and so it kind of drains it a little bit and then I lose some to evaporation and <clears throat> just left in the chips and stuff so uh, I might want to rethink uh, the size of that but overall I'm pretty happy uh, with the gearbox in here it uses a lot of the motor uses a lot of torque just to get just to turn the gearbox and make it all move so I'm down a little bit I think on the torque as far as the motor goes I think you, that was evident in the last video when I was doing a drilling operation uh, of course I could have turned the gearbox down to a lower gear and that wouldn't have happened but uh, right now I'm just it's one to one ratio so it's on high and in that last video I was running it at about 1800 RPMs when I was drilling which is about 50 percent uh, power on a one horsepower motor so you know the optimum horsepower and torque curve is more towards the peak end of the uh, range so all that you have to take all that into effect I still feel like it shouldn't have bogged down like it did but uh, I looked through the VFD at some of the settings I didn't really find anything that jumped out at me it has a variable dynamic torque uh, that was off so I turned that on but I haven't re-ran it yet to see if that makes a difference uh, but that's pretty much it I just wanted to kind of let you 
give you an update of what's going on with the Precision Matthews. Actually using it, so that's good. And pretty satisfied with everything so far. The paint, you remember this was a tractor supply farm and implement paint. It's holding up pretty good. I really think that part of it is the coolant that I'm using. I'm using that cool mist and I think that it's just not it's not too harsh on your paint. However, you know, time will tell on that situation. I don't know about the cool right or some of those other coolants. A lot of people recommend that. Uh, I haven't tried it yet. I figure I got a gallon of this so I'm gonna go through it give it a shot and then uh, I can switch over to something else after this is gone and then I'll have a better understanding of what's which one I think is best but stay tuned uh, I don't know when I'll get back on actually working on the meal I still gotta finish making the mounts for Chad um, I haven't forgot about you but just been really busy of course you know that because we talk frequently uh, and then once I get that done I'm gonna work on the belt drive I'm really excited to get that going uh, also working on a website so I uh, just want to have a website to have everything in one place and all the information for all the various projects I've done in the past and for those of you who are interested in uh, plans models for the all my mounts and stuff like that I'll try to have those posted on the site as well uh, yeah so that's what's going on I appreciate all your support thanks for watching please subscribe to the YouTube channel and most importantly be safe